Well, the use of cash has plummeted across the U.S. in recent years. The majority of consumers are now relying on credit and debit cards to pay for transactions. Well, now places like Charlotte Douglas International Airport are transitioning to a cashless operation. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young takes us to the airport where a new policy is creating chaos right now for unprepared customers. At airports, getting to your gate, delays and cancellations can be the most stressful part of traveling. What do I do if I only have cash? For some travelers at Charlotte Douglas, it's leaving. They recommend that you go back up in there and, and to the cash machine. Queen City News put the airport's new parking payment policy to test. Starting Wednesday, customers using parking decks are no longer able to pay in cash. The airport says it's making the change to modernize its parking decks, but on day one, there were issues. To help people out, I use my personal credit card loan they got cash. I use, a, I use a cash out call. Airport parking attendants using their own credit cards to pay parking fees or having to tell customers to exit their vehicles to go back into the airport. In departures, there are three kiosks where customers can insert money in exchange for a cash card. The process will cost you an extra $6. That card will then be used as a payment method to exit the parking area after returning from your flight. If people were to have to turn around, where would they turn around? Oh, you have to go out. Well, if you if you couldn't get out, you'd have to park over here and go up in the, in the, in the plaza and, and, you know, get the ticket. Have people had to do that yet? Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way to get out. Now, in a press release regarding this policy change, the airport says less than 0.5% of payment revenue comes from cash payments. We did reach out to the airport for clarification on this policy and the best move forward for their customers and have not heard back. Reporting at the airport, Taylor Young, Queen City News.